There we go. Took a second. Uh, first, I'd like to note that uh, idea of all oddities. Apparently, there must have been an update at some point that uh, OBS fixed its ability to see uh, web browsers like normally. Huh. Really? Yeah, I can now record off of uh, uh, no, nah, not Firefox. Uh, Chrome again. Oh yeah. Um, I was gonna actually ask something. Uh, mm -hmm. since we we lure, since we um, since luring the were rats was a lot more difficult than simply killing them would have been. I was gonna ask, can we get some kind of like bonus experience for the objective? actually I've already calculated that into your experience by uh, which by the way um, I believe it was three thousand XP altogether so far. I can't remember. I, uh, I, I calculated it. Uh, I believe it's. Uh, it, I'm going to say it's three thousand, and make sure I add that to the uh, characters. Yeah. Um, can somebody give me a total then? Because uh... I I figured you just wait till the end of the dungeon to give us the total amount. Yeah. Give us give us the total at the end of the dungeon. Because we're not leveling up mid. But you've already gotten some of it already. <laughs> that was the first batch we've gotten since we walked in here. If I'm correct, right? I, yeah, I think you, you got you XP for the first two fights, though. As our no, call. you ne you never Please. gave us experience while we were in here. You 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 just kept I, saying. I, you I remember I did, and then you were like, "Wait, do I, why are you giving us experience in the middle of the dungeon?" Uh, anyways, uh, we defeated the rare rats, right? I know we had an issue where in the, uh, in the middle of the dungeon I realized that I wasn't at the right experience amount, which is why I was a lower level than everybody. I was too, so you're not alone on that one. Yeah, which was really bad because you didn't put the experience on your character sheet even though you're the one that posted it in the chat! <laughs> I was just trying to make you feel better. Now I feel worse. Don't worry. No. <laughs> <laughs> what was I doing? Um... So, now I'm confused at what experience we're supposed to have. Uh, I gave, I put the, uh, the experience into Aaron's already, so the, uh, Dang. where Aaron and the NPCs are at is 52,495. Wait, whoa, uh, sorry, what was the amount? Uh, double checking that I have the right amount in the NPCs again. Uh, 52,000. Four hundred and ninety-five, and I'm supposed to be like fifty XP above that for the at, at least one something goal. like that. Yes, fifty-two thousand four hundred and ninety-five. Yeah, all right. That is a okay. nine. Yes, it looks now, like a nine to me. Now is that before the three thousand you just gave? Before the yep. three thousand. Okay, so. Oh, fuck, my character sheet froze. Come on, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> so I don't have to do anything good. No, since okay, everyone wants to wait, I at least have I... I at least have the XP being tracked on uh, a couple of the other NPCs. Garoff will have the current amount that you guys are sitting at without this additional XP. Okay. All right. Thanks. Boop. There. Yeah. At least at least one of the NPCs has it on track, just in case. Okay. <laughs> Personality <laughs> traits. <laughs> okay. So you're saying we just gained three thousand, and you want us to add that? Uh, if you want to add it right now, you can. It's not like it's going to get you a level right now. Right. No, gonna... no, it's not. I'm going to do it just so I don't forget about it. Yeah. So well, you're adding the 3,000, or...? Uh... Ozzy asking... says he's adding the 3,000 to his character, yes. I think I fixed mine. So are we ready to are we ready to continue now? Yeah. As I'm we continue as we continue through Stoner Wizards Dungeon of Terror. <laughs> I don't got a lot of options of where to go. It's north or north. <laughs> Actually, I was going to go south and around because I want to look 
just to see if there was anything back there, considering what, the fact that back? the were rats. No, back oh. where the were rats were, considering oh. the fact that they were at least you know sentient and might have had supplies. Are we assuming that all the were rats are dead now? I'm assuming uh, so. Yes. Basically, if there are a few of them left, they're being chased right now. <laughs> Yeah, cause, so I imagine you could just erase the were rats from the board. Right. Um, I'm mostly keeping them there so I can actually keep count of stuff later. But yeah. <laughs> so you're going. Rats. So you're going to head back south to investigate further. Yeah, I just want to see if they have any supplies. All right. So. It's twenty, correct? I guess I'll go to you got, you, you got you got two people with like sources oh. up here. Twenty. Um I'm not seeing anything. Um, I guess what kind of supplies are you looking for? And also, I should check and see if there's anything else here. Number five. The were rats, and that's it. And they didn't even have room features. <laughs> really? Yeah, there's, there's just cave room. Because were rats are basically were beings. You know, they would have needed food and, you know... Yeah, my assumption would be that uh, if you... <clears throat> my assumption would be if you look around, you can maybe find, I would presume, a big enough group like this. There might have been something like a week's worth of extra rations. Because it might not be rations, it might just be raw meat laying around. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but but I'm, I'm it's, well, they had camp some campfires going, so the, I would say they at least have some cooked meat. They, they at least have some form of civilization, so to speak. Here's the real question. What are they eating? Uh, hard to tell. It, it does not seem to be all human, though, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> yeah. uh, it looks to be... Most of this meat definitely seems to be more of a either um, animal or insect type of meat. And you've seen some rather big bugs, so it's definitely plausible but to they have get any... some big bug meat. But did they have any bagels? Did they have any... I, I don't think the they had a bakery down here, so no. <laughs> oh, wow, there's actually another passage down here? Or in here? <laughs> it is a very big map with many branches. What do we hear? What do you hear? Actually, down this way, it's pretty quiet. And I can tell you that even without a listen check. It's pretty darn quiet compared to a lot of the rest of the cave down this direction. Uh, well, let's check that one out. So you're going well, to head the rest of you end. are just there up there having a confab. That's how I made a friend with a wand of smiles. <laughs> Uh, 11 okay that's that's okay that's some interesting stuff and 27 is where you're head towards uh uh-huh hmm okay so I take it you're still heading that further in then uh, is anyone else yeah, joining them hearing anything it, it, it sounds safer than the other routes that we have to go right now I was asking really quick, is, are there any of the others going down there, or are you all just staying up there? Actually, uh, I was wondering, uh, since they're just taking a listen, right? Oh, they see, they went for a listen, but you've noticed it's been a few minutes. So, uh, would it be possible for Valena to take the listen over here? Okay, you're going to go over there and have a look. Well, you're going to need somebody to over there, so... Uh, I'll take, both uh, both the bucket. clerics got light sources. Yes, the cleric and the priestess uh, have light sources. 
guess we'll end up knowing Tia Ball longer, so she'll probably ask you to roll to give her a light source so she can have a quick look see. A little bit grudging, but he, he quickly comes over to light up things just to make sure that you're not getting in any more trouble. Um, I did read up on this room. I will kill you. Uh, I will light up this How room. How long is this taking, Matt? Like I said, at least at this point, they went to go look for things really quick, and it's been at least a few minutes, so it's more than just looking at this point. Uh, so I wouldn't have time to, like, bend over my whip and, like, have it bless, would I? That takes about an hour. No, not at this point. If it takes an hour to just sit there and bless something, no, that would take a little while. We've been gone five, maybe ten minutes. Yeah, this is roughly five to ten minutes. Is that how long it takes to cast your blessing? That's if you want to do it as a ritual. Oh, if if you want to do it as a ritual, okay. And actually, uh, blessing your whip would not do anything, because I believe it's technically a plus one already. Oh, okay. At least your currently equipped one. Hmm. It's it's, It's technically a plus one weapon with a little extra bonus sprinkled in there. But, uh, so yeah, actually, I read up on this room that you're poking your nose into. Uh, as you, Theobald, peek in there, you see that the place is literally filled with torture devices. Uh, apparently somebody's been busy in here, but it's been a while. Not only has it been a while, but you see some molded food on the floor, and you do see a splattering of some sort of ichor, and you're not sure where it came from. It's just that old, you can't really tell. When you get close to it, it smells nasty, like stuff has been rotting for a while, but uh, it's not uh, any uh, powerful anymore uh, to the point that it immediately hits you upon entry, just that if you get any closer, you're just going to be like, ugh. <laughs> Blaine just looks at people and goes, it's, I feel like I'm back at the White Hand Temple. I was going to say, makes you a bit homesick, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I remember the good old days of torturing the locals. <laughs> I just had a realization where this path is probably going to lead. That we're it's probably going to lead back around to the freaking entrance. Five, well, ten, if it does, ten. then we know a shortcut to get out of here when we're done. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go signal for the others to come over this way. Oh, or you're gonna oh, you're, you're gonna keep marching? Yeah, you. I'll, I was the one that was going out here on my own in the first place. So, but if you're if you're gonna, I'm going to go back. I'm going to then just wait here. Right. So, are you going back for the others, Azina? Yeah. All right. Unfortunately, I can't scroll the window very easily. Uh, I had to uh, go minus the map a bit just to... uh... (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, well, sucks for me because I I left my mouse on the other side of the room. (laughs) I just pictured... uh... I just pictured Azina coming back up here <laughs> and trying to explain to them to come down there, but but talking like Courage the Cowardly Dog. <laughs> Stupid dog! There's another passageway down and past the Were Rats hideout. Yeah, in the uh, northwest corner up there, there's nothing over there but torture devices. I came out horribly wrong. Let's just go to, uh, down there. Maybe we should ca- take some of those torture devices to use on my enemies. You'll have to get a bigger boat. <laughs> Looks back in there. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's enough passageway down there that I figure we should probably all come down here if we're going to do this. All right, uh, so we'll moving everybody the... south, moving everybody what? south. Would this guy pay us any mind at this point, or no? He, uh, technically, I would say he might be already down one of the other hallways chasing after the few remaining were-rats that are not okay, dead. Okay. <laughs> okay. And if he wasn't chasing them, he'd be probably be busy eating them. This picture where we, we us, uh, us searching every inch of this dungeon, then going back up and going, 
Salomon, your basement's empty now. <laughs> the basement everything. is clean for about a week until the demon brings everything else new back. So we yes. went through, we killed and looted everything. There's nothing left. Actually, I think we, we still need to uh, find something for him down here. Yeah, we yeah, do. We're not leaving. We're we're, not we, leaving. Need to, we, need, we need to find his freaking herb, whatever kind of herb it is. <laughs> Hello. Lotus! He told, he told me what, what it was, I think, and He right? told you it was aloe. He told us it was lotus, so... Mm. So, Maybe personally, it's... personally, I think it's reefer. Maybe That's it's what the, I was thinking, too. Maybe it's the legendary aloe lotus. Oh, I need to check something now. Okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. Wizard needs his pot. We get to the end of this. There's just a coffee can with some with some pot hanging in it. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking Folgers can with a pot plant growing out of it. Ah, you found my owl lotus. Oh, That's pot and waking up. Oh yeah. <laughs> another, another, another more serious wizard shows up. I see the weed has dulled your senses. <laughs> <laughs> I actually want to go down this other path. What's over here? Um, just a moment. I'm checking something else really quick. Um. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Okay. Um. Don't think. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything for that. So, okay, yeah, they... They're just there. All right. Why don't they'll check something before you keep going any further? Because I want to make sure they're not technically supposed to be hidden. 5, 10, 15, 20. You get into here and you just see... There's something on the edge of your sight of the... Uh, full light range. Something that doesn't mesh with the color of the rest of the cave. As for up here. 5, 10, 15, 20. Boop. Go get the others. Whatever it is, it's not making a lot of sound and it's sitting perfectly still. By the way. Yeah, that's that was me kind of muttering to Azina, go get the others. And I am going to creep up slowly. I so badly wanted to be a flump. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to I'm going to walk over here, and I'm going to hold up the dagger that I have uh, the light spell cast on, and I'm going to keep moving my hand over it, covering up the light, kind of like trying to signal. Uh, do I notice this? Um, I don't know. Do you speak semaphore? <laughs> You're trying to send a flashing light at them, essentially. Yeah, so that they'll they'll try to try and signal them to come over without actually saying anything. Well, here's the question: How malicious uh, is Matt feeling tonight? Uh, get, actually, the there's like a couple characters there. Uh, uh, Zeref would immediately give me a perception check, and Garoff gets one too because he's right there as well. Sorry, I figured you were gonna say. Or uh, uh, perception, perception. Valerius is looking the other way. Oh gosh! <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a flashing light in a dark space. Geroth is completely oblivious, but after a second Geroth or two, Valerius is taking a whiz against the far wall. <laughs> you don't buy me, you rent it. Um, but I it takes a second or two, but, uh, Valena, you do notice the flickering light coming down the hall, which might mean the signals of something. You look down there, you do see, uh, Ozzie, like, trying to give a light signal or something. Yeah, I know. Uh, Valena looks at, uh, Valena looks at, uh, Garoff and goes, honey, quit taking a whiz. Uh, uh, the boss is trying to signal us. Oh, put him away, the little monster. <laughs> 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 Tightens the belt. <laughs> Click. <laughs> 
and picks up the picks up his axe again and immediately starts to follow suit. <laughs> We're just gonna go with that. All right, so start going this way, Giselle. Gerard does remind me of Korgoth of Barbaria at times. <laughs> he is generic barbarian, and just uh, because it's Conan, he has to be Sumerian, obviously. <laughs> um, Valeris, are you following the rest of them? They just got yep, a signal when they are moving, so they're not making a hint that they're moving. <laughs> All right. Let's Meanwhile. See. While this is going on, I am inching up slowly if I, to see if I can see what this is. Alright, so you're going I'm... another, like, five feet closer? Yeah. I'm kind of... I basically just point towards the thing so Lena sees why I signaled everybody. Yeah, you start uh, to see a vaguishly... Uh... It's 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 definitely a lighter color than most of the rest of the cave, but you're not able to tell what color it is just yet. Uh, is whatever it is. As for clear? um, I'm moving up. Let me double check here. Perception. If it, if it moves, I'm gonna charge it, but not well. I not charge it, but you know, can't charge till level twelve. Fuck. <laughs> Perception. I'm trying to remember. Perception is uh, wisdom. Wisdom. So, oof. <laughs> okay, you might actually have a chance to creep up in this thing. Um, yeah. Roll me a stealth. Uh, clue yeah, on. I did. Oh, oh, you already did a fourteen. Uh, so their normal ba like passive perception would be like ten plus their bonus. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, they got a percep passive perception of eight. Oh wow! Oh, so wow. <laughs> they got a negative two. Yeah, they are wait, not no, very ten, perceptive. Ten, wait, they've got they've got a passive for. Oh, okay. It's it's like negative two. From, uh, Five, ten, fifteen. So you get close enough at this point, and you're st still stuffy enough. Oh, wrong thing again. That you were able to get close enough to actually see what this is. Oh shit! Not that I'm any more familiar with it. What you could tell is that there's this slick, slightly formed puddle of something that seems to be of a yellowish oh. concoction. It is not moving. Only to, uh, is slightly moving, but does not seem to be moving with intent to come near you as it has not yet perceived you, as you've been quite enough up to this point. I know what that is, and I know what you're not supposed to do, but my character doesn't know that. I have an idea what that is, and I know what you're not supposed to do with things like it, but I don't know that. My, or my character doesn't. Once singing it, Thelona then backs off. So, it looks like a giant puddle of yellow slime. Uh, has Blaina in her studies seen anything or known anything about this? You know what? This would actually fall under it, so give me an arcane. Because right. this is close enough to magic that you, it would fall under there. Arcana? You're aware there are such things as sentient oozes and other nasty things? Um, usually what they are depends upon what color they are. I believe it's a sentient ooze, but as to what it does will depend on its color. But that's all I know. Uh, I'm assuming no one else will really get to make a roll on this. Um. Yeah, I'm pretty far back. Yeah, and I don't think anyone here has uh, Arcana as a focus like uh, Valena does. Uh, 
again, this is not really Arcana is not their thing. They've experienced a lot of the uh, normal I I, world, I, I, but I, 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 this kind of falls into know. that weird magical shit, and a lot of people try to avoid it. You're the most knowledgeable person about I that kind of thing. They, no, I'm not saying they would know. I said they're the most likely if they if someone else did know, but it's probably a no. To my point. Yeah, I'm mostly a religion person, so. Mm -hmm. I studied a bunch of books in the monastery, but I'm not very that super familiar with nature. I am Garoff. Magic equals pretty bad mojo. <laughs> <laughs> How do you even kill a slime? Hit it really, really hard. <laughs> Burn it, I think. Um, yeah, I'm looking at the stats set really quickly. There's definitely some things it's not immune to. Yeah, but I'm think I'm, I'm if it's what I think it is, I'm thinking of what happens if you hit it with a slashing weapon, but none of our characters know that. Nope. Also, double check. Okay. You know, we could also just retreat and go down a different part of the cave or something. Yeah, all, all, all of Elena really knows off the top of her head is that different sentient slime things have different weaknesses, and she probably, with a roll that low, doesn't know for sure which one this is weak to. <laughs> Question is how it's the loan on a naturally react to the situation. <laughs> Yeah. She, she usually won't back down from a fight. But even she Stand saw it and went, oh. Well, I went back to report it to the group. Ugh. I'm, you know, Felona is of the thing that we are, uh. Hmm. How wide across to... is it? Did yep. it look like if it went towards us, it'd be able to fit through these cracks? Um, it might be a little bit tight, but it is a sentient, bubbly thing, which means it could probably definitely squeeze. Even through the, the small, like, uh, five-foot crack. That well, we it is a slime, uh, so its body yeah. can kind of contort. Yeah, th it's, it's yeah. a thing that can contort wildly to fit through there. Yeah, it's like... And then try to envelop you. <laughs> like it has no general shape it can always make it shape whatever it wants it, it's technically it is a large creature as shown by the size of the icon but it is something that has a lot of wiggle room mm. it's literally a moving sentient puddle As a matter of fact, even as you're just watching it from a distance, you can still kind of see it kind of moving around a little bit, just barely. And every once in a blue moon, you'll actually see something that almost looks like a limb reach out and grab something and then pull back in. If someone was to draw it this way, and someone else was to hide like behind that ridge over there pointing over here and then maybe in the one behind it do you think we could get it caught between two groups who would be the one to hide though I could try um Actually, uh, I'm going to say at this point, uh, even Garoff is going to say, are, are we assuming there's only one of them in there? Oh, shit, I didn't even think about that. I haven't seen anything in this place that runs in a pack of only one, except for maybe that thing, aiming a thumb back towards the creature that's eating were rats. No, I'm actually more you would more worry. 
Especially since I don't think Valena has Fireball. No. Nope. I have, I have Lightning Bolt, which I... I Valena wouldn't know that. Uh, but she also has Blight. Yeah, I was going to say, no, no, no metagaming, she wouldn't know that Lightning Bolt would be bad, technically. Although, it might do enough damage, you never know. It could actually roast it instantly, depending on what you roll. <laughs> so wait, what? It's got a resistance to lightning? Uh, not as resistance. There's something else to it. I'm not going to explain. I'm not going to say either. <laughs> metagaming. Yep, M no, no metagaming. No bad. <laughs> Here's my thought. Um, if we're going to do this, have Thelona hide. Me, Garroth, and Giselle can shoot it with uh, our projectiles to get its attention. That's what I was thinking, yes. Because so I mean, I cause, cause even even here, even right? if we try, even if we were going to try to avoid it, what if the thing we are looking for is actually in this direction? That's the issue that that Thelona's having is we don't know where the goal is. Just that it's somewhere in these caves. Um, are you you're saying that out loud that you're not sure if it's back there? I was actually just saying that out of character, but. Because if you do mention that uh, uh, in character, Giselle might actually offer to sneak in and look around because it does seem like they're kind of blind. Hmm. That's actually, yeah. I, I, I actually... Maybe Giselle can try to stealth to even see if there's more than one of them in there. Alright, but if it, uh... Alright, but if it, uh decides to uh, attack her, I'm charging in. I'll uh, be right behind you. Uh, I'm, I'm fine with this option. I can run fast enough, I hope. Alright, uh, and then I am I'm going to stealth again to this position. Alright, I'm going to say that it doesn't take much for you to stealth, and so we're going to see how well Giselle does in there. Because she's going to go in there but dark, but she's also going to go in there taking her time. And she knows that there's something in here, which is why I'm going to give her advantage, because she knows that she's looking for something in particular, but she also is being careful because she knows there's trouble in here. So, boo. Nice stealth roll. Very nice. All right. Yes, so she manages to sneak in here. She's being very quiet as she moves along. And I'm going to show you all what she sees. Somebody give her a light, I hope? Uh, I assume that she probably uh, got like a little, uh, a little small torch and she's just kind of... Actually... I would have given her mine. Actually, I just happened to think maybe she actually has like a candle or something on her own person so she can have a small light to go through with. Oh, come on, Matt. You play Phasmophobia. Candles are shitty light. <laughs> Yes, but they're also uh, lights that don't go out as soon as the ghosts come after your ass. <laughs> um, I don't think we gotta worry about shit blinking here, Matt. Tinderbox, wash skin, thieves tools, but roll. She does, in fact, have candles. So she. Uh, the, what the is, thing, what the, is the radius on candle light? I need to know this. That's actually what I was just kind of wondering myself. What does it say? Five what? foot with additional five foot dim light. <laughs> so you basically see the squares around you. Very carefully, yes. And I would also add that you want to keep this a low light anyways because uh, you don't know what's going to set these things off. Shitty light. But it takes her a few moments. You don't hear any panic sounds. So you don't see any extra movement. But here is what she does see. Oh, and it's a dead end. After a few moments, you do finally see the small light coming back, and she does motion uh, for her to come with her as she gets back to the rest of the group. Um, there's definitely no plants in there, and there's at least four of them. So whatever we're looking for is not in there, and there's no additional pathways. I see no reason to bother then. 
Just I action. want to... Uh, my character will approach and be like, you know, instead of wandering randomly throughout this maze of rock, I could try to find this object that uh, Solomon wants us to get. To get. He said he was look. He told me he was looking for aloe, so I could cast and a. He told us he was looking for object. lotus. The problem well, is we don't actually know what it is because he's a freaking <laughs> lunatic. <laughs> Well, there doesn't seem to be very many plants growing down here. Either way, I could simply try to search vegetation. That's Have we it. actually seen any plants? This is player asking GM. Any actual growing like, plants like down here? Re not yeah, really, no. Okay, actually, that's not a So, bad I could locate vegetation. Basically, you could do something along those, those lines, yes, and there'd be very few pings. As long as it's within a thousand feet of me, I might be able to see it, or find it for us. I'm pretty sure it's not down here, so I'm going to go up here and maybe do a ping? I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's going to take a spell slot. You're willing to try that then? Mm-hmm. No one else is seemingly stopping you at the moment. So, all right, you're trying to sense for just basically any kind of plant life. Hey, I'm actually going to move right. up from here because there's no point in being down here. Oh, yeah. That, the Lona's already gone up. She's just like, nope. Nope. Let me see here. So, he's like about here. So, a thousand, you said? Oh, yeah. You get that easy. A thousand feet. You sense something to the northeast. So, back the past the Arteog. So I, I point out to them, yeah, to the northeast, there's something. Yeah, except we couldn't find a way to the northeast in the north. Yeah, we could. We, 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 um, we, we, t we turned back after uh, the, the were rats. There's still a, a path to the north from there. There's two paths to the north. Mm hmm. Yeah. There's technically two yeah. areas to the oh, north you have not yet here. checked. <laughs> Just the path right here is not the way that's going to lead there, though. But, we uh, don't know that. curious, eh? All right, so five, ten. Actually, I didn't yet double check how much of this is there. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So far, you're not seeing anything. You don't definitely don't hear anything down here. And let me double check something really quick. Oops, I am clicking the wrong things again. Back, get that all back open, and now I want to look at this. Uh, yoink. Note system. Actually, we've got three paths to the north. Yeah, because there's this spot near the dead. Because we've got, thing. Yep, yep, we've got left, center, and then right. I take it when you said from the north. East, it was like somewhere up here. Um, sorry, I'm not in the map right now. So, what are you looking for? Well, where I was trying to figure out where her detect uh, said when she pointed. Was it clear uh, the heck over here, or was it like over here? Oh, uh, she probably can't see you, but it was. It's way over to the northeast. As a matter of fact, actually, from your position, it'll mo almost be, like, partially east by northeast. From your current perspective, actually, a little bit. So it'd be a little more east so than it is north. So it'd be kind north. of, like, over here, then? Yeah, let me... Well, my suggestion would be that we go with the far eastern passage, and if that doesn't work, go with the uh, next west until we find it. Uh... Of course, with our luck, it'll be the far west passage that goes all the way so, north and all the way east. So basically, you're sending a ping in that direction. Okay. Are we agreed? Wait, 
Wait, wait, what are we doing? Sorry. I say we take the easternmost passage. Okay. And we look until we either hit a dead end or we find it. Um, if we hit a dead end, we take the next most eastern passage. By, by the way, you were checking that northward uh, room again there for a moment. Yep. Uh, I would say I would hesitate to tell you that uh, that room does actually have lit up torches in it. Well, shouldn't we have been able to see the whole room then? Because there's light. <laughs> I was just revealing it and I was double checking notes when people were suddenly deciding they wanted to change course. <laughs> okay, well, I was up here. I mean, I, I just thought that mm -hmm. uh, you had revealed a little bit, so I just thought, okay, I was that's revealing all I it and see. I was also checking notes really quick on the room, and there's actually lit up torches, so you see the entire room. There's no creatures in here. Uh, give me a perception check. Oh, God. Actually, then, I, my thing would have been, I would have probably come down and go, Torches! There's light this way. So, yeah, so you I would, would have been telling the other there's torches, okay. Yep. Alright, so I, go, I guess I go down here, then. And uh, I will uh, make my perception. Yeah, perception. There's a couple of reasons you want to have a perception in here. Uh, oh, 14. 14. Not too bad. Let me double check what the notes say. So... Um... You do see a chest. And it is on the far end of the room. Like here? Like the northern end, yes. I am not touching the chest yet. Uh, as you approach... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, give me... Where is it now? Um... Oh, gosh, I just had it here. Okay, there it is. Um... Oh, gosh. What? What? What is, uh... DC, uh, save? What's the DC? Okay, um... So it has to be a stat save of some kind. Actually, well, give me... Yeah, I guess give me a, uh... A, a Joji, uh, save of some kind. Oh, uh, that would be a dex save. I was waiting to find out what kind of save. Yeah, I'm going to have to assume it's going to be a dex save because you're trying to avoid getting stuck by something. No. Uh, as you start walking up to the chest, you get hosed. And I think it's by... Uh, yeah, that's an acid spray. So, Joy. okay, first I need to roll 1d4 to see how many rounds you're getting hit by this by. One round. So it's just this one instance and you're probably going to want to back the hell away. And then the amount of damage. Uh... You get hit for 13 damage. Ouch. Yeah, as soon as you get close to the chest, <laughs> right, right in your general direction from both sides of the wall. As you're getting into that narrow area, you just get sprayed by acid. Thirteen damage. Ask. <sighs> yeah, that hurt. It smarts. <laughs> you sizzle a little bit as you're running back out of there, but thankfully it seems like you didn't get hit as bad as you could have by that particular trap. <laughs> to which Giselle uh, starts stepping up once again and is like, uh, here, let me, let me have a look. And starts to kind of check the walls. I figured the chest might be trapped. I wasn't figuring the square would be. Yeah, there is, in fact, a room trap, yes.
Um, so this is going to be a search, I assume. Uh, why am I not seeing it? I think it'd be investigation. Investigation, yeah. Ugh. She's having a hard time of it, too. How do you have such low investigation? It's a plus three. Right. Oh, because it's intelligence and not, like, sneaky stuff based. Gotcha. Yeah, there's actually not that many dex based uh, roles. It's, I think it's stealth and acrobatics. That's it. Everything else is. Sleight of hand. Oh, sleight of hand. Almost everything is intelligence or wisdom. <laughs> And then there's even, uh, there's like maybe two or three things for strength as well, yeah. <laughs> there's one for strength, it's athletics. There's a few for uh, charisma and then... The well, I guess it's because sports. technically strength is used oh. for other things. Like, oh, Jesus. Then the wizard comes in and immediately spots all the triggers. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, uh, Valena, you just kind of walk up behind them. You see that the rogue is having a hard time trying to figure out where the hell this trap is. And you immediately just go, okay, you have a floor panel right here. Goes up to these nodules right there. And point to one wall and over there. And then point to the other wall. This kind of connects to this, and as you're pointing it all out to you, uh, Giselle's just like, "Oh, oh shoot!" Well, I, uh, shakes her head a little bit, then pulls out something from her belt and literally just kind of sticks something underneath the plate and uh, double checks a few feet down, and you see her just kind of basically hammering these quick little wooden pegs, essentially to keep the pressure plate from moving, so the trap should no longer go off. Actually, huh. actually, that's usually that's gonna be her attempt. Let me see if she actually does that. How well she does it. <laughs> that should be sleight of hand. Yeah, that'll be a sleight of hand. Um, and then I'll check what she needs to reach in order to permanently turn it off. Okay, not too high. Oh yeah, she she just you just see her, as soon as she finally sees it, you just see her going oh, tunk, 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 tunk. I just, I and just then immediately her... she just jumps on top of the plate and nothing happens anymore. There we go. I just, I just picture her glaring at the trap and it breaking. <laughs> now teach you. I'm usually difficult to find for me, and that's weird. Oh, should I check the chest? And she kind of looks at the rest of you. Um. Tried you better than me. <laughs> As the so, at what slowly. height were those nozzles, by the way? They would have been about uh, between waist and chest high. I was I'm just trying to figure out where the hell I got burned. Basically, just aimed right for your body. <laughs> Actually, they might have been almost uh, neck height, and that way, when it came at you, it would have gotten you right around the chest. And belly. Okay. Because it's 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 a spray, but it's not like a, it's it's it has to aim for a distance. Uh, it can apparently shoot twenty feet. Um, so uh, no one's having qualms about the rogue checking the chest then. Well, I'm mm -hmm. limping away from there right now. <laughs> Uh, seeing you limp, Theobald quickly moves up. Uh, can I help? Can I help in any way? Here. Uh, he, he then kind of looks at the scorch marks. Never mind. I'll, I'll help. Here. <laughs> Let me see what he can do here really quick. He's still got some spells, I'm sure. Just got to bring up his character sheet. Oh, da, 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 da. Spells! Oh, all of the spells. Such wonderful spells. Uh, don't need to do that right now. Does he, like, have a... Does he have, like, a lay on hands or something? No, that's no, Paladin. Yeah, that's Paladin, but I thought that he had, like, a heal ability of some kind, too. No, what... Uh, that's Life Cleric. 
He is a life cleric. Uh, oh yeah, Channel Channel Divinity. Channel Divinity, uh... Surf life second to channel divinity and heal the badly injured. How much? Uh, Choose any creatures within 30 feet of you, divide the. So actually, you can present your holy symbol and invoke healing energy that can restore a number of hit points equal to five times your cleric's level. So five times eight. Wait, shouldn't he be level 9? Uh, he has one level Barbarian. Right. So 5 times 8, so that's, uh, 40. So he can heal up to 40 hit points with just a, a wave of his hand, basically. And that he can would, do it again. A full 40 hit points wouldn't even heal me all the way. <laughs> I yeah, we'll, we'll just we'll literally just do down. that, and yeah, even that's not gonna fully heal you, but that's gonna take a lot back. <laughs> so did you heal yet, or am I gonna add that? Okay. Yeah, I was I was bathing it. <laughs> you just kind of, you see him just kind of present his Mitra symbol and does a quick chant and kind of taps you on the shoulder and just. Woof. Not not in perfect condition, but you feel a hell of a lot better. <laughs> mm -hmm. I take it the, the the sizzle marks have gone away. Oh yeah, it, it was just a quick. Again, you were very lucky. That could have been a lot worse. Two d twenty, two d ten plus. Uh, it, it can be up to four rounds of damage. Oof. Yeah. Two d ten. Let's see. Twenty times four could have been eighty. That could have almost flatlined you if it wasn't oh, yeah. taken care I of. Still, I would still be alive. I would not be happy. No, <laughs> not at all. Uh, so anyways, to Giselle, who is double checking again for more traps because let's just face it, this room is a nasty piece of work even without monsters in it. Estalona's looking down at her acid splash top. <sighs> <laughs> just kind of wiping off some nastiness. Would have been funny if there was like a dead were rat in here and Thelona just went, ah, I wonder how that happened and then stepped on the trap. Oh, God. You know what? Is her perception better at this rate? I don't know if it's any better. Nope, it's a plus zero. Never mind. <laughs> she was an archer, not a treasure finder. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going <laughs> to. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, we'll keep that 10. We'll keep that 10. Let me double now, check. Now, now, this is, now this is going back to the old third ed game I have where the where the thief would go, yeah, I'm going to check the chest for traps. The uh, the dwarven <laughs> fighter uh, fighter cleric would immediately throw down his tower shield and everybody would start cowering behind it <laughs> in the farthest <laughs> corner of the room from the from the rogue. And as, as soon as in about five minutes, the rogue starts screaming. Yeah. <laughs> I want to... I want to roll persuasion to convince the chest not to be trapped. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it was found. That's really, that's really bad that I got a natural 20 on a joke roll. Uh, actually, her pers her uh, investigation was just good enough to see that there's another poison trap on the chest. And she just kind of <laughs> blinks, looks at it, looks back at the rest of you. Who set up this room, and why did they have so many traps? Also, <laughs> kind of... why do they have torches? You know, you realize the chest is going to be empty, right? Also, why do they have not torches? not be with everything else out? I'm doing here. <laughs> also, why do they have torches that don't run out? Magic, bitch. Yeah, burning. <laughs> wizard bullshit. <laughs> Says wizard. standing right next to the wizard. <laughs> It, it's all right. She knows it's wizard bullshit too. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him he's wrong. <laughs> Convince him he's you wrong. Know, I'm pretty sure Th Thelona could think of Garroth as an adopted brother by now. It probably is just about that level at this rate. <laughs> um, another barbarian around. <laughs> Only other real barbarian around. Well, because they tend to think alike in certain ways. They, they, they are very, so very much bullshit. alike in mindset on certain things. Wizard bullshit. Mm. 
fucking magic. <laughs> Speaking of fucking magic, looks over to the white haired woman. <laughs> 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 I do not need to know or need to think about. <laughs> I, I'm just like, my character is completely clueless, just standing there going, what, what are these crazy people talking about? I'm, I'm trapped by... I'm, uh, yeah, you're basically sitting here going, I'm trapped with crazy people, I'm trapped with crazy I'm people, I'm trapped with crazy people. I think it just randomly gives gear off a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Quietly notices and does not react just to keep from the wizard hating him. <laughs> um, let's see here. So Giselle has found it. So now let's see if she can disable it. She does have bonuses for this. Okay, okay. Right, it's that to disable it. So slide a hand. Oh, nice. Well, yeah. of course, that's a dex thing. Apparently, Int and Wiz were dump stats for her. So, she, uh, Int and Wisdom? No. Uh, oh, Wisdom, actually, yeah. Intelligence is actually not, is like her second highest stat. <laughs> and yet, she apparently can't investigate crap. So yeah, she's got plus mean... three. Don't ask, don't look at me. <laughs> So what about is she not proficient in it? That, that, She's not proficient just, is the problem, that's yes. Just, that's just her intelligence bonus. She's got sli she's proficient in sleight of hand, stealth, athletics, and uh, deception. If she wanted to lie to you, she's very good at it. <laughs> um, But yeah, you see her, and she's kind of... She examines the trap a little bit more and goes, Ah! Pulls out dagger, and, and uh, pulls out two daggers, and literally just runs them both behind the side of the chest, and you hear a twing twing, as she just disables it and nods and puts them back away. <laughs> so you're, we're going to have to remember this later as she opens up the chest, and you find within this chest <gasps> five hundred copper, six thousand silver, two thousand seven hundred gold. What is PP short for? Oh, those are supposed platinum. to be platinum. 60 platinum. Two bloodstones. Uh, two carnelian? Hold on. Um, how much copper? Again? 500 copper. <laughs> Believe me, it's a list. 6,000 yeah, gold pieces. 6,000 gold. I actually have a, a I actually have a, 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 a text file that's got our loot, our loot money oh, okay. on it, so I'm... That's Yeah, that's why Ozzy's making sure to take these notes. How much gold? Right. 2,700 gold. You literally, you just see her open this chest up now that it's been disarmed, and you just see a reflection of light back in her face. Okay, so now what are the <laughs> gems? Um, 60 platinum still, if you didn't get that. I got that. Two bloodstones. 50 gold a p uh, uh, each, apparently. Yeah, generally, uh, for stones, you need to do an appraisal check to figure out how much they're worth. Just as an FYI, Matt. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, two bloodstones. All right. Two carnelian, I think that's how it's pronounced. C A R N E L I A N. Yeah, that's another stone of some kind. Be right back. So you got that? Yep. Uh, Kritrine. C I T Citrine. Citrine, okay. Yeah. How many? One. A single moonstone. Moonstone. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> <laughs> you knew I was gonna do that. As soon as I saw the list I'm like Moonstone, yes. <laughs> moonstone uh, can be used as a replacement for almost any spell and read. Uh, Sardonox, uh, S-A-R-D-O 
N Y X. One. Just one. Two star rose quartz. We got two of Steven Universe's mom. Oh my. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that it popped into my head. A zircon? Zircon? I, yep. I'm struggling. <laughs> pronounce things. Stone names, how do you pronounce them? This is worse than Elvish. <laughs> Fucking stones, how do they work? Uh. Oh, and you also find a pair of bracers. You know what? I'm just gonna burn the spell slot right now and identify the bracers. First, right. you probably want to detect magic on them first to make sure they're magic. Otherwise, you're completely blowing identify for no reason. Well, <laughs> see, I don't actually have detect magic, and if I did, that would still be a waste of a spell slot. Hmm. Yeah, identify is at least only a level one spell. Oh, actually, I think I have something that could do that. Let me see here. Where's my mouse? Yeah, there don't check your spell list. Ba, 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 ba. What do I have? I do have identify. Yeah, so does Ozzy. They were okay. talking about uh, um, detect, uh, magic. detect magic. Wait, but here's the oh, thing: okay. is, is is if you cast detect magic in the R magic and then you identify it, you've literally used except, two spell slots. Except, I don't know if your class can do it. But I know that identify and detect magic can both be ritually cast. I think I click cast rituals. Yes, priest rituals does cast rituals. Spell ritual. as a yeah. Spell ritual is as usually... a ritual. <sighs> and ritual. rituals usually take about ten minutes ish, depending on the spell. Mm -hmm. But it's it doesn't multiple. cost it doesn't cost a spell slot though. So no one has a detect the, the, magic. The, the, the problem is, and I don't know if this holds true for my, for your game, Matt, mm. but in other games I play, the GM says that oh yeah, we'll usually waive magic item components, but not for things like identify or resurrect. <laughs> I've not right. been waving it for resurrections. Yeah, it's like the big stuff you want to make sure that they because, have the stuff. So for. that's what I have for ritual. Yeah, you have the casting. ritual casting. Yeah, so that means you can ritual cast. Yeah, and I've used identify. Has... I, I, yeah. I've used identify before, and he didn't make me need a component for it. So, I've literally had it since the beginning of the game. Mm. Just haven't had much reason to use it most of the time. Um. Yeah, I... normally identify requires a. Uh, I was gonna say what is identify? A pearl of a certain value, but it's not it's... consumed. At least a hundred gold pieces. Yeah, I believe yeah. we kind of covered that um, very briefly. At least that Ozzy might have had that pearl and get, gets to keep that, that spell. Then yeah, it doesn't get used up. The only yep. thing I would say that you'd use resources and uses up the resource would be like reviving spells, in particular. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and maybe the like something big like fireball. <laughs> yeah, unless the spell says consumes it, it's usually. Mm -hmm. And as long as you normally have an implement, you don't need to use. Components. Besides, the group has had Except enough money the, the even before you were part of the group that he would have had that pearl by now. <laughs> I also, I also think you only need compo components most of the time if you're actually a wizard. Anyhow, I don't think, like sorcerers, don't use components. Uh, yeah, they do. Yeah, that's that's class, where it gets does. really weird head candy because as far as I would be concerned, sorcerers would actually be the one spell class for sure that doesn't need wizards, components. Wizards, wizards, sorcerers, and warlocks all use components unless yeah. they yeah, have an, unless they have an implement. I'm using a homebrew class though. Uh, yeah, and a lot of these characters also use implements, so they're almost everyone yeah. at this level has an implement. Anyhow, <laughs> can we just discern if I find out anything from casting identify on it? You just want to go casting it right away instead of ritual? 
Yeah, because we're we, I, I don't to be, think anyone trying to be quick about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone in this party wants to stay in the cave longer than necessary. So you can cast that if you want to. I already um, checked off the spell slot, so yeah. All right, so you identify them as the Bracers of Archery. Well, I think I know who I'm giving those to. <laughs> I had this options too as soon as I saw that. Giselle, you want to be better at shooting arrows at things? <laughs> Blinks. I guess I wouldn't have a problem with that. Well, hand over the bracers. <laughs> that's going to make her a lot better at the longbow on the boat. <laughs> Because it gives you auto proficiency with longbow and short bow. Ah. It's and, just and the, then, you know because she she's mainly she mainly uses archery for most. Yeah, of her no, no. Work. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm just saying uh, she hadn't had the because she's been using short bow. We were trying to train her on longbow on the boat, but I don't think that was in her proficiency list. I think she, I think she got longbow from taking a level in barbarian though. She just recently got it, yes. Okay. Because I think that, that gives you martial and all that's, weapons. All that's going to give her then is the plus two bonus to damage on range attacks made with longbow and shortbow. Alright, so I handed her the bracers then. Just so everyone can see that. Do a, do a do a roll with her her uh, air bow to see if it automatically actually adds it. Well, that's Probably. a pretty high to hit a hit. Oh yeah. No. Uh, I think that's the. Well, yeah, that is that is it. Yeah. yeah. Plus four, four, plus, plus, four plus, 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 plus four plus four plus four plus two. <laughs> yep. That plus was four a plus two. Plus two bonus. Yep, it's adding it. It was just a bad roll. No, that was, that, was, that was a pretty good roll. It was a 17. Wait, wait. It was a 5. Wait, what are you looking at? No, I you know at that, the damage. I oh, think the, damage. the plus 2 is from the, the magic bow, not the... Uh... Oh, yeah, oh that's you're the right. It doesn't add it, actually. Yeah, that's 5 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2, it should be. So that should be additional 2. Does that include damage? The damage rolls? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't make it easier to hit. It just yeah, yeah, it's not. So adjust, so it, it should have actually been a thirteen to hit, uh, damage. Yeah. yeah. So I have to keep. I have to remind. Have to remind me on that if I forget about it. <laughs> she gets a plus two damage. Unless there's some way to fix your gear to say that. I think you, you can mod your gear, right? You, you might can mod be, it, but I'm not sure how well you can mod it. <laughs> That's um, the problem with this character sheet. There, there, at, there is a way. If you look, there's a box on the right labeled uh, modifiers. Uh, box on the right that says modifiers. Oh, uh, yeah. click them. So click the modifier create on the a, gear. Create, then? A, create a new modifier called Bracers of Archery. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I'm looking at. Uh... It's in between. It's in between the the uh, personality stuff and the traits. It's probably empty on the character sheet. It's probably just oh, a box okay, that doesn't have anything in it. Add. Yeah, then you put add and then put bracers of archery and then there's different. Once you go into the gear, there's check boxes under damage. Put ranged weapon and then just put a plus two at the very end and uh, number. So it would be one blank blank plus two. Which will just tell it to add a plus two to to any ranged attack. That should work. Okay, so that's... then I got to modify. Mm. Yeah. No, not modify the gear. The gear. Yep. Okay, attack. And... No, you want damage. Oh, damage. Right. Yeah, attack is the the to hit roll. Range yep. weapon. And then the third, the third blue box that you can enter in, you just want to put a two in there. Wait. So. 
and it says one blank blank one blank plus blank plus two. Um, oh, so plus two at the end. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 yeah put a one the, at the, the one the spot. Second, the second one is ability modifier, and the other one is dice type. You don't want to add either of those. You just want to add a plus two. So that's what the number at the end's for. I had to do this All with right. rage. This is where I get my rage number. And if we try that again. Yikes. Yeah, but, actually, but at least it's, uh, at least it's still got that plus two. One. That was a one. That was a natural one. <laughs> but it works. That's the important yep. part. They got the extra plus two in the damage. All right. There we go. That's... And there you go, folks. We got tutorial in on this, too. <laughs> Yeah, I had to figure this out when I was trying to add rage numbers. So so yeah, have, you got a ton like of this. stones, a whole bunch of money, and now the rogue has bracers that give her even more bonuses to hitting things. The more stuff like this happens, the more I wonder if the other default character sheets would have actually been easier. I don't know. They, 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 they probably they have the same learning easier, curve. But I don't think they're as modifiable, so I think all of those numbers would have probably had to be done by hand. But anyway, Thelon looks over to you. It's like, I, I want to get a new outfit out of that, some of that money. Pointing to the acid splash top. And it, it's got some minor scorches, but it's not like it's eaten through, thankfully. Again, it could have been much worse. I don't think that's going to be a problem. There was definitely plenty of, uh, of uh, platinum in there. This is I the, know, big, this is the biggest. The gold. <laughs> this is the biggest haul we've ever had. This is more money than we have in the freaking ship fund. Yep. The ship is funded for the next year. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> anyway, now I'd bring up taking the easternmost and unless it easternmost path to the north now. Yep. So eventually here. All right. Dragon, the NPCs along. Yeah, everybody's moving. Everybody's got a bagel sandwich. So you're heading up this way. I would remind you that over this way, you earlier did hear snoring sounds. Yeah. That's what I thought the fucking Artyug was. <laughs> and as you get close, you hear those sounds again. They're somewhere further in, some ways further in, but the, you do hear them still. Well, let's 15, try to figure 20. out what it is. Proceeding with caution. And yes, that is a 20-foot move instead of a 40-foot, because I am now moving as quiet as I can. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I, know, I can't help but notice the wizards on the other side. Oh, right. Uh... <laughs> Easternmost entrance, they said. Most entrance, oh. You okay, Zero, if you're falling asleep? No, I just got a call from my mother, it's all. Just kind of low energy and got pulled away. Gotcha. Yeah, she, she was calling me. I don't know if it was emergency or something. Oh, you didn't even get the call. Okay. Yeah. All right. 10, 15, 20. Um, I forget. Uh, Ozina, you do have a light source, correct? Yes, I have the light spell, so I keep casting it on one of my daggers. So about here-ish. My whip is still lit up. Mm-hmm. And Theobald's uh, keeping in the back with uh, his lit up longsword. Actually, at this point, he's kind of having it on his shoulder almost. <laughs> and Thelona's carrying a torch. So, yeah, basically, you're... Oh, I'm clicking wrong things again. 
basically what we're doing here is 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, as, I'm, mo I'm, mo I'm moving in 20 foot movements. As the snoring sound gets louder. Is there any, does it look like there's anything over in that? Actually, it's a good thing you should point that out because I should actually double check if there's anything on the map here. Oh, there is. Uh, number 44. What do you got for us, 44? Could be nothing, could be just room details. Ah, just room details. You see a crude bookcase and an empty weapon rack that sit on the eastern side of this room, and a rotting uh, uh, backpack lies in the southeastern corner. Nothing really left, it just seems to be a pile of racks that used to be a backpack. Uh, I was gonna check the bookcase. You, you go over to the bookcase and you kind of start to poke at it, and as soon as you grab a book, you can literally feel the binding rip in your hands. <laughs> it's not been cared for for quite some time. In other words, it's in the state of decay, pretty much. Yeah, everything here seems to be barely holding together, and as soon as you start touching and messing with it, it starts to fall apart. It's like, oops, oh well. <laughs> um, all right. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Ah, I keep having it on that and not the thing I need it on. Twenty. Boom. I will say before you move ahead. Uh, you do see vaguely through the shadows of your light that it is starting to narrow. Uh, it's starting to open up, but there is still a little bit of stone surface immediately ahead of you, so you can still, like, peek around a corner. Yeah, I think I will move towards the corner and just see if I can no, know, I mean, do an ice spy. Like, the corner is, like, over here. Ah. Like, right here? Yep. Yeah. yeah. And so just you're kind going, of do an eye spy. Yep. Yep. And so you're going to try and peek around. So let me give you. A, will you please? Thank you. So I'm going to say you at least see this much very clearly, and uh, you're going to give a. Uh, um. I don't know if I want to just make a perception check or if it should be a search check or what. It's. It's. I'm going to give you a perception check on that. Yeah, because you're, because you're currently already hearing it. Yeah, I'm I'm just trying to see what it is. I'm not trying to, you know, mm -hmm. search around for it. Not for me, that's not bad. Perception of 14. Okay. Um, give me a moment. I also want to double check on this end, too. Ugh. <sighs> Sorry, this is taking a moment. Right, there it is. Pop that out. So I can have a look at it on its own, and we're going to close that other one. All right, it's perception, so it's plus wisdom. Okay, yeah, it's got, it's not a negative, but it doesn't have any bonuses. So, it's got basically just a 10, so that means you snuck around well enough, I think, at this point that you can... Oh, wait, did you want me actually, to Actually, yeah, actually give me a stealth, just to make sure. Because, yeah, I could always blow myself. Yeah. But oh. not in this case. Apparently not. You, you've done pretty well to keep hitting, and you just, you've been hearing this thing. And as you peek around the corner, all you can make out is... You've seen large things down here, the kind of icons that take up four spaces... This is bigger than a large. And it seems to be have some sort of reptilian body to it. Oh no. Mm -mm. Did it look anything like the thing that was uh dead back there? Uh how big was that thing? Oh yeah, roughly that same size. Matter of fact, uh, 
Give me another perception check really quick. Actually, no, give me investigation. I, I don't think it would change much. It's both wisdom, isn't it? No, no one's in. Yeah. Um, actually, yeah, give me a perception or uh, investigation, whichever is better for you. Because there might be um, some extra detail I'm willing to give if you get high no, enough. No, they're about, they're the same. They're about the <laughs> same. So whichever uh, floats your uh, boat. 16. Not bad. I'm going to say that's definitely high enough to notice this. As you're looking this thing over, this large reptilian thing that's snoring, you see, you definitely see one head that's laying near the body um, with its nose almost in the direction of where you're coming from. But as you're looking it over a bit more, you see another head, and it, it's awake with lit up eyes slowly scanning the room. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to sneak back. So, does anything, anybody know anything about a giant lizard with at least two heads? You sure see a befuddled look on the barbarian already. <laughs> you sure? Oh, I can't say that. It's my gaming. Do I have to do a research roll? Um. Yeah, give me another Arcana. This this is one that will fall almost on Nature Two, but give me an Arcana trick first because that would be more likely to know. Oh yeah, you've heard tales of demon magic working on dragons and making them into oh, multi-headed monsters. Oh, no! So, sometimes demonic magic affects several other things, like dragons! So, we're looking at the demon dragon. Probably. Demon oh, dragon? Joy. I've joy. only read about these in some books. Fairy tales, I and I wish they'd stay fairy tales. He kind of nervously looks down the hallway. <laughs> Time All for right. a party wipe. <laughs> All right, two questions. One, who here votes for trying the other path? <laughs> I'm I'm waiting to hear hands raised. If not, or is everybody just sitting there? Elena slowly raises her hands and goes. Do you really think we could take that thing in our condition? Second question. Who here suspects that the item we're looking for is on the other side of the dragon? Well, and I will I... raise my hand on that one. I, yeah, I, I, I kind of I just... raised my hand with a dejected look on my face like, God damn it. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll, I, can, I can try to detect the item again from there, from here. Hold on. Well, you were able to okay. detect it before, and it's off in that direction. Be it before we before we do anything, I'm casting a level four cure wounds on Yaroth. Okay. Because he's missing a good chunk of his health, and I haven't used many of my spell slots since we rested. He's missing a chunk, yeah. I'll give you that. Fuck! Fifteen. I rolled two ones! <laughs> oh. RNG hates you. Well. Oh, well, he's almost completely healed, to be fair. There's like okay. a tiny segment of his health missing. He's, you, 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 you feel like it didn't come off as well as it should have, but you do s immediately see uh, Geralt is like, hmm, okay, that feels better. <laughs> oh, and wait. then... I'm gonna cast a level one cure wounds on myself. Okay. Uh, question: uh, You said there's a lot of rotting stuff over here, right? There's some junk stuff falling apart over there. Yeah. Are there any bodies rotted over there? None that you can see. There doesn't seem to be any bodies. There is a backpack that's just sitting there. That's basically rags at this point, but you don't see any bodies. I had never heard to ask. So, yeah, uh, seven uh, hit points to Azina. Yeah, I already added it. Mm-hmm. Whoops. I did not mean to full screen my character sheet. Whoopsie! Roasty! So, are you guys going to go ahead with it, or are you going to try uh, to do something else? I, I think, unless it, unless it means just to just 
do an insane amount of damage to us in a single turn, we can take it. Because I have two casts of Mass Cure Wounds if I need to use it. No I way, can I got also one do cast. Sh Shield of Faith. Anyone need Shield of Faith? What does that what do? Does that, do? <laughs> uh, that one is this here. Uh, Plus two. Concentration AC. up to 10 minutes. Plus two AC, yeah. Alright. So it's a creature of your choice within range, which is 60 feet. Uh, give it to the two meat shields, the two barbarians. Uh, Can't give it to more than one person. Uh, I thought she said she could do it. Target one creature gives yeah, a plus all... two bonus AC. It's also concentration, so she can't cast it twice. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Otherwise, I can cast Sanctuary, which envelops a person, but, like, wouldn't help. What's Garoth's the... armor class? Sanctuary is a two way barrier, though, if I recall. What's mm -hmm. Garoth's armor class? Garoth's armor. It's not bad, but it's not the greatest either. Uh, yeah. 17. So he's got That's the same. Good. He's got the same as me, so it would be best to use it on either him or me. I would probably say Garroth and use him as a meat shield because he has more hit points than you. Yeah. The only other thing I could do is I could do Crusader's Mantle, which is, oh, does this. Oh, yes. That gives everyone a bonus to damage. Yeah. Oh, gives everyone a bonus to damage. Okay, yeah, I remember that one. Uh, that, that, lasts, that lasts for only a minute, though. You might want to wait till we're in the battle to use that if you're going to use it. Everyone it's deals an extra 1d4 one one well. uh, radiant damage. Yeah, that would give if it was if it was cast in the first round of battle, that would give us ten rounds of bonus uh, damage. Yeah, I see. And if I this see thing you... lasts longer than ten rounds, we're fucked probably anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, vote, I vote you use that after the fight starts. Crusader's mantle, yeah. okay. Yeah, I vote yeah. for Crusader's mantle as well. All right. Yeah. So, and then I also have mass cure wounds. I have uh, mass healing word. Yeah, keep those handy. We're going mm -hmm. to need them. I also, I also uh, have. I would also mention this. that Theobald also has a few decent healing spells left over yet. He has not. By any, he's he's only used one spell slot so far <laughs> since he mm -hmm. rested last time. I also have. Now that's like, the other thing we could do is we could go back rest, and then come forward. Again, he's barely used anything, so he's got a lot of heals on his hands too. So even if he can't join in tanking, he can at least join in by yeah. keeping the tanks alive. I think, I think in our current condition, we don't really need to rest. Like if okay, okay, if the, if I'll the probably thing want to rest after this because we'll probably our lot. <laughs> All right, so thing... I also have this thing for like my big bad damage. Well, that's I right. Guess. You got the big nasty dawn light. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but I think that's also concentration, but it is a moving ball of light that essentially roasts anything inside of it. Yeah, I'd say you're better off just using Crusader's Mantle, because it keeps it keeps us boosted for a it, while. It, yeah, if nothing else, okay. the the uh, it's for sure going to give everyone a decent boost to damage if you just do the Mantle as GM. Okay. And you're still allowed to do other little things too, because it's one concentration spell. As long as you don't do another concentration, you can keep flinging things. Or if you feel particularly gutsy, you can walk in there and try and smack it too. <laughs> Technically, your whip you don't have to be right within me. In matter of fact, yeah, you, you, with your whip you don't even need to be right in his face. You can be a couple I spaces can also back. I just summon this guy. And that is not a concentration spell. That's a, no, a, that is not. That is something you can actually drop on the first on the second round too. And that is eight. Actually, you can do that ahead of time. That's an eight-hour duration. Mm-hmm. Large so guardian can... appears and hovers over, uh, hovers for the duration of the unoccupied space. You know, of your it has, you, because it's. I think it stays in a specific spot, though. Yeah, it will stay in a specific spot unless it sees something that it needs to act upon. Basically. Okay, so yeah, you'll want to use that in the second, in the second thing, because it'll be. Uh, you could just. The problem is, of course, if the uh, dragon thing moves, um, the guardian will just be sitting there going, Ugh. Yeah, it needs to either be, it needs to be within 10 uh, feet of it, and it needs to be hostile. Which you can, uh, 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 the fact that it's going to be hostile will probably cause it to move too. So are we going to try to sneak attack the dragon? We're trying to, we're going to try to get a sneak round off on it. Yeah, the thing is, it's already looking for trouble 
Yes, one thing about this creature, I will let you all know, GM notes, uh, there's always one head that is awake at all times. So you'll have yeah, to be careful, but you can at least get in close. <laughs> yeah, if we can take it by surprise. Which means Theobald is probably immediately going to hang in the back because as much as he can run up there and be a healer, he also wants to let you guys get the first hit. Right. And if he tries clunking up there, he's going to definitely wake it the fuck up. Yep. So probably Sorry. the Barbarians, probably followed by the Rogue, I assume. Then probably the Bard, and then the Magic Users, followed by the Cleric. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sounds fair to me. Where's the Priest go? The Priest would be Wizard? right next to the Wizard. Wizard? Okay. okay. So where is this in relation to where I saw it? Or where, because I, you said I could see it from, from where I was. Yeah, you just make it out, and after another extra bit of looking, you could make out its form, so. Because I gotta, I gotta see, you know, how far it's gonna take me to run in there. The that barbarians close. have the bonus of being able to move 40 feet. Fast. That's, 20. <laughs> that's 25 feet, that's good. Cacko feast! <laughs> Yeah, all right. So do you want us to start with an Anish or take our immediate move attack? I, I'm going to say that you're going to basically start with a round of you just trying to sneak this thing as quickly as possible in a barrage of stuff, so you get that first, and then we'll do initiative. Sneak. I don't have to sneak, because I can move and attack it immediately. Actually, actually how about this? How about we do everyone's initiative right away, and then the... Uh, target doesn't get initiative until after your first round. That's exactly what a surprise is, Matt. Yeah, uh, I, I was just, I just happened to think of that. It's like, wait, no, this is an easier way to keep this summarized, because yes, we're trying to do a sneak round, essentially. Uh, the wizard and the priest might want to, priestess might want to move up a bit. <laughs> the cleric is taking the back. <laughs> or is supposed to be. Alright, move right there. Belina? Zeref? Yeah. Oh. Scooch Sorry. up. <laughs> oh. Getting ready for fight. <laughs> oh. <Yeah>, sure. <laughs> and roll for initiative. <laughs> oh. Are you sure you're okay, Zeref? I mean... Yeah, you're kind of loopy all of a sudden. Oh, so you're just constantly distracted right now. Yeah. I, I know how it is. Actually, as we were starting, I was getting questioned about five different things about the food that we had for dinner. <laughs> Would you like to take a survey? No, it's more like... What, would you like to get some like extras? We're going to pack it up soon. <laughs> just need to like... open, open the initiative table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it just... She's just like, remember it's daylight savings, remember it's daylight savings. I know! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, at 2 o'clock to two o'clock this morning, it becomes 3 o'clock. 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, rock. Fuck, this is the night where we lose an hour? Yes, yeah. it is. Welcome to hell. I just heard a ping just a moment. I assume that might have been Aaron again. <laughs> Usually, oh, yeah. every year they have a freaking note by the time clock about daylight savings time. They didn't have one this year. Thank so you I for the hundred bits. It. No, my I didn't realize it until I looked at my uh, my AccuWeather on my phone, and it's it's saying daylight savings time for 2021 starts at 2 a.m. Sunday. It's a good thing right. you said something, otherwise I got, I would have been late to work tomorrow. Well, <laughs> now you know. And knowing, and half, knowing the is half the battle. The <laughs> other half is red and blue lasers. You know what I forgot to do today? Forgot to get cabbages? Forgot to eat my 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 dragon gummies. Nope. Where did I put those? I'm just happy that it's gonna be so... kind of more bright out. Well, if this all decided now. A little bit longer. I would your name on it. Wizard, you could go or you could wait for the meat 
for the meat to go first. Yes, Valena, are you going to go right away, or are you going to hold action? I'm going to hold a blight for it to come when it comes out. Uh, you're going to hold a blight? Yes. How far does a blight I, reach? Actually, I can probably hit it from here. Yeah, tell me how far the distance is. You got 35 feet from where you are. You just the barely see it. Is 30 feet. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, you're, you need you're, to move up. You're, yeah, you're five feet. You're, yeah, you need you at least probably move. move sideways. You could have moved sideways and do it instead of moving up. Yeah. Okay. Nope, nope, nope I'm wrong. Nope, that was right. needed for a diagonal. Okay. Yep, there you go. So, you can do a blight right now. What does blight do? Blight is several d8s of damage. Just instant body. damage? Yeah. It's like sucking the life force. All right, go for it. Yeah, if you could pop light into the chat so we can, we can mm -hmm. look at it. Holy shit! <laughs> oh! Oh! Boom! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Necrotic make damage. That, make that constitution save, Matt. Constitution save. Do, Needs to go for a 22. 17. Jesus. Oh! Mmm, this is going to be interesting. What did I get? Come on. Oh! Makes the con, still takes 22. Still takes, yeah, 22 damage. Just You just see the wizard pop out and immediately sparks from the hands. Boom! And you hear a, a, a loud hiss. <laughs> By the way, since we are now lighting up the room, let me show you what you are looking at. Oh! It's a fucking Hydra! Hydra! Ah, uh, Xena, your turn. <laughs> I'm going over here, and I'm casting a level 4 Shatter on it. Shatter! Constitution needs to go for another Constitution, otherwise it takes a full 24. Made the last Constitution. Fail! Doesn't make this one, takes the full 24. So we are already... 46 hit points into this son of a bitch. Negative, yeah, negative 22 from the previous one and a negative 24 from this one. Boom. All right, it's been calculated. Theobald's turn. All right. <laughs> Obviously hearing a roar already. Uh, how far can he go? He can go for 30 feet. Yeah, so he can get about there. You know what? Actually, you know, it wouldn't be a bad plan. Plant himself right here for right now. And what he can do for an action is, uh, how far can that reach? How far can it go? And can it act right away? The immortal. Uh, is it spiritual weapon? Yes, this would be a spiritual weapon. Yes, but by the way, that will take up a space. Mm -hmm. So you'll, you'll, need a, you'll need a spiritual weapon token. Yes, I, uh, I can look up something pretty quickly. Uh, there's some easy go-to uh, things that would fit with uh, Mitra, so like a long sword that I can just pull, literally plop on the map. I think the most hilarious spiritual weapon I ever came up with was a giant paddle. We had giant a we paddle. Had, we, we had a person in our in our normal Saturday campaign whose spiritual weapon was fish. 60 feet. Okay, so yeah, he can plant that just about anywhere on the from on the hydra from here. So it was literally he, he could literally smack the bad guys around a bit with a large trout. <laughs> you should chop the greatest tree in the forest with a herring. A herring was one that that was used too. <laughs> what about a frying pan. Not on that person. Always the fish of some kind. I believe someone used the. I believe someone in Critical Role used the bust of B. Arthur as a spiritual weapon. Because <laughs> why not? 
people are crazy. I, I, I remember that. I remember that. I think it was one of the live shows, wasn't it? No, it wasn't the live shows. It was one, one of the other episodes that character was it a was part the, of. It was the guest, uh, guest actor. Mm-hmm, it was a guest, uh, uh, basically a cleric. Rob, Rob uh, Spirit of the Walking Dead. Spiritual weapon? You know what? He's got enough spell slots at level 4. He's going to make it a level 4 spiritual weapon. Does that actually do anything? Uh, I'm not sure if it helps with the two hit, but it definitely helps with the damage. Yeah. So, 16 to hit. Let me double check what this thing's AC is. I've actually not had to check that. Okay, just made it. Just over it. So what did you cast that as? What level? That was a level four. Yep, that'll do an additional D8 damage. No, don't no bonus to two hit. Oh, it gets an additional D8. Yeah. I'll make the edge the extra. Dice. Yeah, you should be cast doing your extra because you cast it as a four. Okay, yeah, it does already do the extra D8. Yep. Yep, yeah, there I got it in there in the math. So yeah, that was a 17 to hit it. The 17 damage it gets hit for. And I have to put a new token out on the field, really quick. Yeah, because where that token is is depending on where I am. Well, he can cast it up to 60 feet. So if he put it on the other side, that's good. Ba that's basically, fine. yeah, I'm, I'm thinking he's gonna put it on the other side where it won't get in anybody's way. So pop. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah. Just cast okay. it on the other side, 30 feet away, and smack! <laughs> okay, so that was his bonus action. I think his uh, actual action is casting it to actually come out, I thought. No, no, it, it, casting time is a bonus action. Uh, well, his only other option right now is to use a, a sling. <laughs> I think it was. Or does he have another weapon? I keep forgetting. I think he does have... Actually... He does have he the does hammer. Have the thrower? Yeah, I was gonna say he has the hammer. <laughs> so he can toss the hammer from here, and if it hits, it immediately repels back to him. Uh, Nordic thrower. Throne. Hits. So he hits it for another head 10 damage and repels right back to his hand again. So he managed to do 27 damage. Nice. All right, Thelena. All right. Considering this is a fucking dragon, I'm not wasting any time. I'm raging. Alrighty. I am charging into the central position here because I am basically tanking. I am also going to probably pass out after this battle because I am going into a, 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 a frenzy rage. Because I want the extra attack. I am going to go to town. Miss. Shit. Hit. Oh! Holy fuck! Whoa! Okay, Holy 16, cow. 17, plus 17, plus 14. So that 30, would be... 30, 47. Wait, wait, wait. The first attack missed, didn't it? First yes. First attack missed. Second attack hit with a 16. The third attack critted. Yeah, so... so I, did, I did 31 on that, that third attack. Oh, man. Yeah, so 47. Yep. So Very loud up. hiss as you see multiple heads raise up and the torso is trying to get up. It's obviously not going to get around in time to actually attack you, but 
Holy smokes, it felt that, and it's very angry. 5, 10, 15, 20. And now that I'm engaged in melee, she definitely will have a uh, sneak attack. <laughs> yep. By the way, um, uh, we'll figure it out. Load character sheet. And... Short bow. Miss. That's a Miss. short sword. Wait, the sword. Wrong, wrong weapon. That one. Yeah. That That's hits. Not for much, but it hits. <laughs> yeah, because you rolled a one. But... It really does not like her doing damage. It hits. Uh, but also... Yes. Sneak, sneak attack. attack. Ooh, nice. You may kill this thing in one round. Uh, 1923. You're getting damn close, I'll say that much. Garrosh's turn. There's two characters left. <laughs> Garrosh! 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Boom. Grrr, berserker and goes for a chop. <laughs> Alright. So let me, uh. Oh, actually, that's his last rage. Worth that's it. That's fine. That's the loan is taking a point of exhaustion after this. And... Uh, so he gets point. two attacks, and I believe he gets a plus two damage? Uh, for raging? Yeah. Should be up to a plus three now. Should be up to a, well, should be a plus three, alright. So. Attack, attack. Both of them hit, so 25 plus, is it a plus three for only one or plus three for both? Both. So. So it'd be a six. So, so yeah, it'd be a, a six. and a 17, which would be a 31. So 31 damage. Jesus, all right. You, as this creature is reeling around, almost ready to start attacking, you see Garoth run up to it and literally crush one of the heads as the entire body literally stops for a second and then immediately falls the fuck over. You're kidding. We one-rounded this puppy. Negative two hit points. I didn't even get to go. Holy shit. <laughs> but before we just stop the turn order, really quick... Uh, everyone, give me a perception check. As you're uh, just taking uh, this, you're just taking as you're just taking like the briefest second to be like, Are, "Is this really over?" <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. A couple of you definitely notice immediately that as you're about to think, "Hey, it's over. We're starting to celebrate." You start to see bits of it are healing. Oh shit. Yeah. Uh, at this point, I would advise to the priestess, you do have a fire magic. I do have a fire magic. And you've heard of creatures like this needing fire to kill. Permanently. Alright. That is, is that? Um, some that fairly general God. knowledge I'll allow you. <laughs> okay. So, actually, yeah. Which would really explain why the other monster got killed by it. <laughs> Unless it can bite flames out of this. Trying to think, yeah, you're roughly 40 feet away from it. How much, mm -hmm. uh, trying to remember, you have some spells. Alright. I do have Dawn that I could throw at it. Dawn isn't fire damage. Dawn is more of a holy damage. I'm thinking okay. there's something else. Um... Uh... Sacred right. Flame. That's, that's, a that's also more of a. Uh, I thought you had. I'll check your spell list. I thought you had. Oh! Produce Flame. I did, but that's kind of the shitty one. The Sacred Flame one? No, Produce Flame. Oh, wait. Produce Flame? Oh! 
keep thinking that's different. No, no you keep thinking it's like... this is that crappy one that my, uh, my other character uses a lot. Yeah, but it does actual fire damage. Yeah, that's the thing. It actually produces an actual flame, which is what you're looking for. You're looking for not you're not looking for something that does holy damage. You're looking for something that does fire damage. Is well, what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, what it only goes within. I have to be within thirty feet of it, though, in order for that. And to that does not take you very long to uh, get that close either. Okay. So Currently, go, it's unconscious. It can't even dodge you right now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're basically you're basically just doing a coup de gras with it. Okay, yeah, you're trying to coup de gras this thing that's starting to heal if it does if you if you don't stop it. All right, so I'll do produce flame on it after I move, right? Yep. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, we are within twenty feet of it. Oh, well, it's a little oh, bit better than what my yeah yeah you yeah, hit it did fire does. damage and I'm gonna say that's enough to light the thing on fire. So as it's starting to heal, it suddenly stops as. A small fire is produced on its uh, torso by the drop of the flame from the priestess, and gradually the flames just keep growing until the entire body starts to smolder. There's nothing else people could just use the torches. <laughs> yeah, that was going to be the next thing, but we were going to have to wait the round to do it. At least this way we can actually say it's completely done in t end turn order. So, as a GM, what if I told you there was actually nothing in here? <laughs> Originally, nothing in here. Give me no treasure. Let me double check. 38 and 39. I'm pretty sure so the I added things. But yes, the, the only thing that was in here was a Hydra. That was it. It's a dead end. Oh my god. I well, told you guys we went the wrong way. However, give me a search check. That'd be an investigation. Investigation, yes. I keep saying search because that's what my brain keeps saying. Oh, yeah. So, in the back corner, say about here-ish, you'll find a small stack of star metal. Oh. oh! Mine, 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 mine! Valeria found it first. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you... Valeria saw it first. Actually, we'd go we're going by the higher number, and that would be Valeria. Oh, the, the higher number would be Valeria, so it actually would have been Valeria. Uh, but wait, what's that over there? Yeah. And you see basically a stack of about 20 star metal ingots just sitting there. That's almost enough to make everybody a weapon. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I was gonna but you'll have to find a craftsman that can make it for you. Yeah. I, I, I hate to do this because it's early, but I think I really should go now that I know it's daily savings. That's time perfectly tonight. fine because this is going to be the perfect place to note, uh, note end things tonight anyways. So, you have defeated a Hydra. And you have found One the round. the GM decided that, with all of his mercy that you know what we're gonna have a hydra fight. Fuck it, we're gonna have something cool for you guys to grab. You get a whole bunch of fucking moon st stars metal down here. Moon star metal. <laughs> star you gonna get here? Okay, we're gonna get a whole bunch of moon stone. No, <laughs> star metal. Whole bunch of star metal. Now you just need to find yourself a good craftsman that can actually make it into something. I, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna jet, guys. I'll talk to you, uh, most of you next week for the other team. Most of us, yep. So, with that being said, good night, Ozzy, and good night, everybody watching. We'll see you all next time. <laughs>